back here at the Sugar Shack. I flew yesterday to be here. I got some great rest last night. I'm ready to play some music, ready to share some music with the people. What a life. Taking it back to the Sugar Shack. Session night, killing it, of course. Greg's on, bacon's going. Um, it's been a hell of a month. We've had Shwayze here. We've had Cap Carter all the way from Australia. Transitioned over to Miami for New Deco with Alan Stone and Derek Hodge. Uh, on the way back, we saw Sum 41 and New Found Glory Drum Clinic with SJC Drums. It was amazing. And now we're back with Mike Love at the session. So, couldn't be any better, honestly. It's the life we live. What a life! <laughs> what, what he said. I'm uh, Mike Love. I'm from Hawaii, from Oahu. And uh, I came last night, I, I flew, or yesterday I flew from Washington State, where I live now. Um, got here late last night and here I am in the backyard Sugar Shack session Mike was here back uh, it's been a year or two I think right something like that it's been a minute uh, but it's cool because we've changed it since he's been here the pergola is new um, the experience has been stepped up you know we've got guests that are coming tonight so uh, the artist always thrives off an audience and it's just enough people that it's, it's a good balance. It's going to be a great night. This is going to be a cool, cool experience for me. I mean, I'm kind of the resident metalhead of, of, the, of the Shack crew. So it's just, it's cool just to see all the different types of music that come through here and, and truly being a, a music discovery platform. It's just, it's, it's cool just seeing bands like this up close. As somebody who appreciates music, you can't help but just be just sucked in by somebody like Mike Love. Over the years, you know, my music has grown, my audience has grown, your audience has grown, your production level has grown. It's like, you know, and I see we have a lot of friends in common. You guys work with most of the musicians that I know and, and I'm friends with and have been friends with for decades now. You know, we've all kind of come up together and you've helped us and our audiences grow and we've helped your audience grow and you know it's it's amazing to see how well you guys are doing and you know it's I I, I feel like you're successful because you know you reinvest time, energy, money back into making it better, always making it better. And that's what you know all of my all of my friends, including myself, who are successful, I think it's a great recipe, you know. You get the, the energy that you get, the love that you get, the wealth that you accrue, it's like you, you, you give it all back, you put it all back and it makes it better and it just keeps growing, keeps getting better. You know you're officially part of the team when you start wearing flip flops or you start wearing shorts. Phil, let me see them legs. Look at that, dude. That's officially on the team. Woo! <laughs> Make me very uncomfortable. Nikki, I'm going to turn into your mother. I've seen Mike Love many, many times uh, here at the Sugar Shack, but also abroad at music festivals. And I don't know if I would say anything's uh, necessarily changed, but every time I see him, it's something new and special. Um, for instance, one time I saw him on the East Coast in Stewart at Terra Formata and I was talking to him earlier about this, there was a thunderstorm going on in Florida, lightning too, so like very dangerous. Uh, it was crazy, but like everyone was just frolicking in the rain, dance, I was dancing with my umbrella, it was just, it was amazing and then I proposed to you the next morning and Mike actually came out. Could have, could have proposed to me on Friday the 13th, but chose not to. On stage with my glove, but I waited until the <laughs> okay. next morning. But Mike, he, he met us at the beach after that, and uh, we hung out on the beach for a couple of, I don't know, it was like probably like an hour or so. I remember he rolled up on us and he was wearing pants and he saw that I was in a board shorts, and just board yeah, shorts, and no like, shirt. Wait, I've got to go and he runs back. The yeah, he runs back and he comes back in board shorts and the Sugar yeah, Shack tank top. Which was honestly like, <laughs> I thought that Wear was Wear so our cool. shirt, you know, just yeah, unbelievable. Super. That was that was a special day for but sure. But yeah, he's, a, he's, he's what you call staff. We got two, two birthdays we got to celebrate tonight. We got Alex Casement, audio guy. 
of bug moments for every podcast. I'm like, <laughs> put sound effects in there. Tonight was my parents' first sugar shack and it was very special because it was Mike Love. Mike Love is personally one of my favorite sugar shack artists. I think he's just amazing, so I think it's very cool. And I was very happy that my parents got to experience it, and they loved it. My dad literally would not stop talking about it on the way back to my yeah. house. Yeah, so. and her parents house. have her parents have been through a hard time recently, so I think this is very yeah, it's very healing for them to be here for just for this have session a, particularly. A normal fun night is and very with all special. with of all people, Mike Love. Yeah. You know, what a life. What a laugh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Those are nice, dude. <laughs> Chill out with those, bro. Yeah, let's do it again. Come on, fire minute. Yeah, there it is. So oh sad. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, my glasses on. I can't even do the wow, wow, wee, wow. Yeah. We're the welcoming community. <laughs> 